Hi, meteorologist Peter Hall. Here is your NBC3 forecast. As we take a look ahead, your forecast in a flash, your fast cast. It will be one of the warmest days of the year. Now, having said that, I'm not sure that means too much considering we've only hit 88 or higher three times, of which we had 88 once, 89 once, and 90 once. Well, that still puts us at one of the warmest days of the year. Mixed sun and clouds. The humidity, considering the time of year, is still low to moderate. There is a small chance, tiny chance of a shower with thunderstorm. I'll show you that on the future cast coming up. Muggy overnight. I wouldn't be surprised if Syracuse doesn't dip below 70 by late tonight and early tomorrow morning. So we're nearly 90, and I just mentioned, there you go, 88, 89, 90. Three days right there. There were three other days that were 87 and higher. I think the chance of at least 87 is very high. I think 87 likely, 88 likely, 89 or 90 possible. So we certainly have an opportunity to make it day two of 90 or better. By the way, did you know that Syracuse normally averages eight days of 90 or higher every year? I mean, it's only mid-July. We have all of the rest of this month and next month, but it's certainly something to keep an eye on. We'll be pretty close this afternoon. Now, looking ahead, there is a threat for thunder. There's probably going to be one shower, thunder shower somewhere in central New York. As you'll see, very low coverage. So the threat is very low today. There is a higher threat late afternoon and evening tomorrow. So when we look ahead, I would put my money, if I had chips, I'd put it in Tuesday, Tuesday night for most of central New York versus today. Now we look ahead further, our temperatures are going to be turning lower for Wednesday. Why? Northerly wind one. And number two, we'll have a lot of cloud cover for most of the first half of the day, if not maybe extending a little further than that. So low to mid 70s likely Wednesday, mid and upper 70s Thursday with more sun. And then we'll get ourselves back into the 80s Friday and somewhere in the 80s or maybe warmer for the upcoming weekend. So that's the way it looks as we take a look at a general view. Here's a look at your future cast temperatures across the area at noon. Most of us between 78 and 83. A little cooler by the Lake Ontario shoreline, 77 there. Notice that it's dry everywhere. The best chance of a shower thunderstorm between noon and 3 would actually be up in St. Lawrence County, like Potsdam, Governor. The rest of central New York should probably be dry through 3 o'clock. Now, looking ahead for the rest of the afternoon and evening, there really isn't too much on here, is there? Now, there is a small chance of an isolated shower, but most spots probably staying dry. We take a look ahead, and overnight, Monday night, tonight, into tomorrow morning, it's probably going to stay dry. Eh, pretty muggy too, upper 60s to near 70. For Tuesday, a mix of clouds and sun. There is a higher probability of a shower thunderstorm at some point with the highest coverage during the afternoon. Temperatures are going to probably make the mid 80s on Wednesday. Notice by Wednesday though, we're starting to see a lot of cloud cover in the morning. Now this is trying to dry it out pretty fast and get the sun out at or just after the noon hour. We'll see. I wouldn't be surprised if it takes a little longer, but overall, later Wednesday afternoon, the sun comes back. Northerly wind makes low to mid 70s. Boating forecast. Winds very light this morning, becoming locally on shore at 5 to 12 knots. Wind east to southeast for Oneida Lake, 5 to 12 knots, and southerly wind developing over the Finger Lakes. Taking a look at your seven day forecast, here's what we've got for you 89 today, 87 tomorrow. Cloud cover Wednesday, then some late afternoon sun, 76. Thursday, mostly sunny, 78. Friday, mostly sunny at 87. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Anytime, anywhere, you can go to cnycentral.com.